Good afternoon. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'm Zuri BB or Rita. Um, I'm coming on today. I intended to do a inner child reading, and it still may turn out to be one, but I was doing my own little shadow work. I've been up for a long time. Um, but I started pulling out the inner child cards and it was funny. I started shuffling them and then I looked at them and half the cards were in reverse. And I was like, what's going on with that? Because normally I put all my cards back in the right order before I put them back in the case. And so I went through and, I, and it was like eight cards out. And it was interesting what the message was. But part of the message was, um, I'm going to read it. It was wands, and it uh, uh, it was King of Wands, but in this book, it is the Guardian, Guardian of Wands, and let me find it. I, Guardian of Wands, and this um, Archangel Raphael. And um, I'll just read this a little bit here. In the mysterious and magical realm of the spiritual life, there are said to be nine levels of immortal beings who encircle the creator and offer guidance and protection to humanity and the many worlds of nature. The ancient names for these beings are seraphim, cherubim, thrones, dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and angels. And the card that's depicted, the four, the four archangels are Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, and Uriel. Now, I'm not going to pull that card out, but I'll show you the picture in the book. That's Raphael. And, um, it is said that he offers direction and protection to people struggling on earth. Now, I'm saying all this because I want to send a um, heartfelt um, message of sympathy to a spiritual sad. I don't know, you, you all may not even watch her, but um, there's been a death in her family and... Um, we are not really, I'm a lone wolf, but I do associate with her. I have um, communicated with her. And when I saw the message earlier today, my heart sank for her, um, for the passing of her son. And I just want to um, send out white light of protection for that family, for that situation, that the divine have its way. And whatever that will be, it will be the way that it should be. But I know her heart is broken because mine will be. And I'm still dealing with the passing of my mother. So I understand the feeling of death, but a child is that's some way different. Um, but for me to pull this card, there's this protection, this level of protection being um, shown through Raphael to this world because there's some crazy stuff going on here, you know, with the whatever they got it got a new name now with that and then just with that school situation with you know kids going crazy and then parents i won't get into that because this i'm in the state that it happened in um it's just a lot going on right now and then just people in general are just wilding out since this whole C C V that yeah since since that started for me personally I have seen the real individual you know before they had the mask on and you know you could you can kinda you know I could say yeah I can yeah I see that now they've take they've taken the mask off I can see them coming in I can see the demons and the imps and all that other stuff coming in 
uh, before they, I can feel their energy before they even enter. It's just crazy. And it's just gotten worse. I don't, I haven't watched TV in a long time. Just crazy. But anyway, I, um, the reason why I'm talking about Raphael or these archangels and all the, you know, all the nine immortal beings is because I started shuffling the cards another deck because i had to dream about it. i've been dreaming about this deck but about using this deck i don't bring it on my channel that much and it's been over a year probably since i've pulled this deck out i have the other deck with the demons in it it's been a long time since i touched that one but it's called the angel tarot um and it's funny because I started, I kid you not, I started going through the book. And sure enough, the hierarchy of angels, they had an extra one. And I, they had an extra one. But I'll read them. Um, the seraphim is the highest ranking. And the highest ranking of angels, the choir of seraphim, are sixth-winged beings that fly around the throne of God. Now, if anybody has ever been watching my channel, I always tell you that I equate with uh, aliens. These celestial beings, these are these celestial beings. Let's keep it moving. I won't read you the Bible scripture because I, that's a lot and some people are turned off. I really don't care about that. But I just want to tell you about tell you about these um, the hierarchy. The next hierarchy after seraphim is cherubim. The cherubs guard the Garden of Eden and escort the throne of God or the divine or whoever. However you equate the higher being or whatever. Um, there are thrones. The thrones are great wheels covered in eyes that deliver divine justice and hold up God and remain forever in his presence. That is the wheel of fortune. Then there are dominions. The dominions appear as humans of perfect beauty with wings and are responsible for regulating the duties of the lower ranks of angels. So they are the managers of the, the dominions are the managers over the over these next angels I'm telling you about. The thrones, the cherubim and seraphim are over the dominions. Now, the virtues are angels from the choir of virtues are responsible for making miracles occur upon the earth. They possess an unshakable energy welling forth from their godlike abilities. These could be people walking on the um You don't know who you who you um entertaining. This is why people should always be careful who they entertain or who they turn their eye on. Then there are powers. The powers ensure the cosmos remain in order. They are warrior angels prepared to destroy evil spirits or cast them down to prisons. I've been telling you this. These angels ain't no joke. They are cutthroat. People think they are cute and all this other stuff. They they warriors. They will slice and dice. And this one that's in this book, he has he has two swords. Then there's uh the principalities. The angels of the principalities guide and protect nations, races, and institutions. They are educators and guardians of the realm of mortals. So in every parts of the world, there are different principalities. This stuff is real. You know, some people don't believe it. It is what it is. Over here in America, we got principalities over in Egypt, over in Africa, over in Israel, over in um, Norway, Iceland, Ireland, Cuba, Dominican Republic. China, it's angels all over. The, there's principalities all over. And that's why all these people are going through the things they're going through. I'm not trying to get into that. But just to be clear, because somebody may be coming to my channel 
just to see what I'm about. You might watch some of the old stuff. And I want, you know, I haven't even prayed yet um, or said a, asked for protection, but people have been, I want to thank the people who have been commenting on my old videos. There's been a lot of people watching the old videos, and I'm really happy about that because apparently the people who need some type of guidance are finding me some way in this algorithm of YouTube. I'm cool with that. Thank you. Please stop by again. Um, archangels. We talk about archangels, well I do anyway on the channel because I ask for protection from the archangels. And the archangels are the chief leaders of the angels that appear among mortals. Their power is great and they serve God directly. Directly. They they support, they report to the divine directly. So even though the seraphim, you know, they they the highest ranking, these archangels can they can directly report to, to the divine. Um, and that's why I ask for who I ask for. But then there are angels, and then the angels are the messengers of divine light. Who descend from the heavens to minister to mortals. They have diverse powers and roles, and some are given specific tasks. They are capable of performing great miracles and unleashing tremendous destruction. So even though we have these um, um these powers that can come down to slice and dice, the angels don't skimp on any of these. They all have their own job in protecting us we are protected um, the reason why I brought this up is because and I'm sitting here looking at these card and the card flipped I can't see it but it slid over on top of the um, inner child deck and I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that in a minute but let me stop a second and ask for the divine Holy Spirit to protect us. I'm asking that you give us protection. Burn off any red, any negative energy from people, places, things, aliens, whatever it is that is not of you. Burn it off with the red hot flame. Burn it off. And then protect us from wing to wing with the angels. Have your angels surround us wing to wing. And then encompass us with the white light of protection. Top of our head, soles of our feet, left, right, front, back, everywhere. And extend it 20 feet. And because I know that our bodies are the vehicle for our souls, I need an extra layer of protection. Top of our head, soles of our feet, left, right, front, back, everywhere else. And extend it another 20 feet. And... You know, of course, we, the archangels, of course, you divine. The angels are already here. Our ancestors, the ascended masters, um, everybody on the spirit team. We want to we wanna invite our animals. I've been bringing, I have around me, I don't know, my family must know something because I bought this. Let me finish the prayer. Um, but... I want all my spirit team, everybody. I'm not going to name them all because there's a whole bunch of them. But they're all invited here. And the divine, whoever comes to this reading, I want them all to have be afforded the same protection that I am asking for. It is so, it is said, it's done. Thank you. Um, I had already bought a turtle, but I ended up giving it to the star seed, my little star seed. But somebody gave me another one. My family knows me. But I've been buying other things. Other and I have other animals that I um that I've been holding on to. And I have the fox. People say he's sneaky, but no, he's clever. And he has a girlfriend. So I have a male and a female. And she's bigger than him, which is funny. She got longer legs and longer arms. Some women are taller than men. It is what it is. Um, but let me get back to this. I'm going to pick the card up. Because this reading was going to be just an inner child reading. 
I'm already 15 minutes in. I ain't pulled the card yet. Um, oh, let's back up some more. If you hear this music in the background, it is um, the frequency of um, 639 hertz. And I'm going to read this. I create harmonious connections with the people in my life. If 639 hertz has shown up today, there is an issue within your relationships, be it interpersonal or with a family member, friend, or business relation. This frequency enables creation of harmonious connections to be reinstated to allow for better communication, understanding, tolerance, and love. Like I said, there's a lot of drama going on. I asked for that after <laughs> after this angel situation popped up. And on the bottom of this deck is unlimited potential. And it's a 10, so it's ending a cycle to create a new cycle. And you, Because it's saying you're consciously creating reality. I'm going to pull the, the three cards. Somebody's um, awakening the pineal gland, which is their third eye. The pineal gland is right there. Wow, and here's another frequency, 528. So, I'm going to keep that. And also, um, ancient sounds, frequencies. Wow, there's transformation happening too. I'll pull that one. Okay, it's going to take up the whole reading. Um, I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to leave these up on top here. But the reason why I came on here to um, do this inner child reading was because I had a question about what was going on before the, your inner child was um, tampered with. Um, yeah. I don't know how that's going to work out, but we're going to see. And I, I have a deck here. That's the card that flipped over, and I'm going to take it. I have I have a deck here, but there's another card that flipped over there. And so, I haven't cut the deck, but I'm still going to keep that over there. I'm cutting the deck now. All the decks have been saved already. But whatever happened... Your will, it affected your will of fortune. Mm. This is um, Six of Wands. So somebody was getting ready to go do something. Go off to war. Go off Let me look at that. I don't use this deck that much, so I don't know this deck. Okay. It promises. It, it promises honor and recognition. Okay, I'm going to read it. This going to be long. A middle-aged monk crowns a young hero with a laurel wreath, an ancient symbol of victory and acclaim. The champion on horseback bows his head to accept the reward. He's the embodiment of humility, surrounded by well-wishers and revelers who want to cheer his success with a victory parade. Both he and his horse are dressed in royal robes, a sign of their power, status, and prestige. 
They're celebrating because their hero has won the war and he has brought peace and prosperity back to them. There are no visible reminders of the struggle he overcame, only signs and symbol of victory as the cheering crowd celebrates his success and their good fortune. The success in battle has made it possible for the rest of his community to live in peace and prosperity, at least for the time being. The victory parade isn't an outmoded concept. Even now, we celebrate winning Super Bowl and World Series teams with ticker tape parades. Okay. It promised. This is a promise. It's a promise. So, before all of this, this inner child was promised a victory. It was promised a victory. And that victory was supposed to set their will, their life, their fate in motion. But let's see. I'm going to Seeker of Crystals. Somebody was on a road, some type of journey. It's a little lion. And there's that wreath. There's there's a wreath there. Interesting. Hmm. Can I have a message? Guardian of Hearts. Wow. They're on a turtle. And there's something with the heart chakra. They can be on. This little mermaid. Mermaids are not supposed to be on land. They're out of the water. They're supposed to stay in the. I mean they can come out and bathe. But this mermaid is. In, and they're not supposed to interact with other stuff. But they're blowing some type of bugle. Um, Where is that? We'll work with the word book, Guardian of Hearts. You know, when people ask me questions, I have the workbook for this deck. This is the workbook, but there is a um a book that comes with the um with that inner child deck. But I bought the um workbook because you can really go deep deep into um this. And here's, this is Gabriel. In the inner child cards, the King of Cups is represented as the Archangel Gabriel, who is embodied as a beautiful angelic mermaid, Gabriella. The Archangel Gabriel re reveals divine messages to humanity. Gabriel literally means hero to God, one who brings joyous tidings to the faithful, as well as mercy to those who have fallen prey to their lower instincts. As the faithful, Faithful judge, Gabriel helps align those in need of connecting the beauty of the soul with the body. This angel was the ambassador who came to Mary, declaring that her child would be the Messiah, long awaited by the Jewish people. Gabriel blows the trumpet of rebirth, asking human beings to rise up and embrace the universal code of unconditional love and healing. Some people are not going to relate to that because they're not, and that's okay. Um, but this card is actually while you're on this road, whoever, whoever is on this road to victory, the question you need to ask yourself is, I realize that I am the master of my emotions. What areas of my life pull me away from divine love and self healing? Am I in harmony with my greater community? Do I have appropriate outlets and opportunities to give my love to the world through service? If not, how can I change this so my heart is radiant with sharing and joy? 
So somebody may have an issue with that. They may have an issue with that. This is a stage in life where individuals are seeking harmony with their own authority to give and receive love with great understanding and respect. The king is a master. This is the final step and the, the individual takes toward alchemy of spiritual love. So somebody's working on their spiritual love. There's human love, or earthly love, spiritual love. There is a difference. You need to look it up. I don't always um, give all the answers. Because if you give all the answers, how are you going to learn? To thy own self be true. Study to show thyself approved. You know, I can give you the p tools and stuff, but you have to really do it for yourself. Now, I'm going to ask about this because somebody's learning how to love divinely and they want to be victorious with this um, and how they can do it if they're you know when they do this they will have unlimited potential you'll be able to consciously create your own reality and you will awaken your pen, pen, pineal gland your third eye and you can also listen to 528 hertz because it will give transformation and miracles that frequency and then also ancient sound frequencies can help you as well and by doing all this you will be able to transform you'll have a rebirth and there's a whole lot going on there and i actually have those cards out to do a sacred geometry reading We'll see if we get to it because I'm already 30 minutes in and this is already getting deep. Um, spirit, what angel is assisting the collective get in line with their spiritual love? A lot of cards popped out, but two flipped out that I will take. The first one is the lovers. This is a decision. And um, when this person gets in tune with their spiritual heart, joy and blessings brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. So you'll be able to remove negative energy. And then there's the hierophant. hierophant. But this, this is the angel Haniel. Haniel. And you have the um, other angel, Hezi, Haziel, the Hierophant. And it's divine forgiveness. Obtains friendship and favors the great, secures promises. So when somebody heals their heart, understands who they are spiritually, this will take place. Wow, and you will be able to end the cycle. End the cycle. Um, I wasn't going to pull out another deck, but I think I will. I got one right here. Um, I'm going to clarify. I'm going to clarify these angel cards and go from there. Um, I wasn't expecting to do this. I haven't put this deck out in over a year, too. This is the um, Gale Tarot. All right. Somebody is expecting before they got on their journey, the angels up above said that they would be victorious. You know, if they worked on this divine love, this spiritual love, if they healed themselves from that. 
somebody to have a rebirth. Because apparently in their journey, they've been dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't do that kind of reading today. I don't, I don't, we, I don't need to know that. I want to know how they can heal themselves. I want to know how they can make the right decisions for their life in relationships so they can end some cycles. Because that's pretty much the three cards that fell out along with this king of hearts, guardian of hearts. All right. Let's cut the deck. The Prince of Swords. Somebody's taking some action. Taking some type of action. And he's hope he's manifesting. That looks like the sword of truth. So somebody's going to be on a journey. Can I have a message for the um, lovers? There's going to be some type of change. Six of Swords. And it's going to be victorious. Even though along the way there was some heartbreak. And it's going to allow unity, two of cups, to take place. Along with a new emotional beginning. Can I have another one? The eight of pentacles. It's going to take some work, though. It's going to take some work. And what kind of change is this? This deck is not in reverse, and I don't know why this card came up. But you're going to be able to use your imagination, but you have to make sure you don't get confused with what this change is going to be. Uh, some cards flipped over that I'm not going to take. Yeah. Whatever this change is, there's going to be a change, and it's going to be an illuminated change. But you need to make sure, you're going to be able to use your imagination, but you need to make sure that there is, you don't get caught up in some type of illusion. And it's going to, you're going to, Nine of Pentacles, you're going to have to take your time. Be, be very prudent. That means make sure that um, you take each step you take is the right step. And that decision and lovers is on the bottom again so this may this is a relationship a card was flipped over I'm not taking it it was the eight of uh wine still yeah you need to make sure that you take your time because otherwise it will cause a delay and whatever it is you're trying to, uh, whatever this change is, you need to make sure about that. Um, because you want unity. Can I have a message on the unity? When you get into this energy of two of cups, two of pentacles, you're going to balance yourself out. I said cups. It's unity. You're going to be balanced. Once you get balanced... You will transform. You'll be able to transform. And that already came up. You'll be able to transform because you'll be healing. And this is, you'll be able to rise again because apparently there, okay, there's been some um, unbalanced things going on in someone's life right now. Once you transform, you will be content, emotionally fulfilled. Can I have another card, please? Thank you. Two came out. Okay. 
and you'll be content even though people may cast judgment on you but you don't allow you don't give them that authority over you nobody should nobody nobody can judge you other than you king of swords that is the truth that is that's what you're going to understand you're going to understand that nobody can cast judgment on, well they can say what they want to say but it won't affect you they can do whatever because the minute somebody points you see how i'm pointing my hand all these other hands are pointing back at me can't do that so you need to work on this you need to work on this this is a skill that you need to really prepare for here's some nine you're completing a lot of cycles nine of pentacles can i have a message yeah you're going to be ending cycles of burdens or feeling backstabbed these are swords and this is this can be your own mental you know backstabbing yourself or it could be from others but you're going to learn how to release that tower moment you're going to understand that nobody has the authority to do that to you you're going to be well balanced six of pentacles you're going to be well balanced after you once you understand that you you don't have to hold on to these swords from other people you'll get back into your well-being and this tower flipped over again and this is something that you're going to understand and um because somebody there it is. these some of these cards are switched over and there's the devil underneath there but somebody's trying to take away some satisfaction somebody's trying to get it somebody's trying to get on this emotional get on that their level emotionally and somebody's trying not to do that because the devil devil is right behind this they want to keep you confused they want to keep you confused and when they want to keep you fighting they want to keep you fighting but they don't they don't get to do that they don't get to, you don't the only way they get to do that is if you give them the power this tower moment they're trying they're trying to come fast with it cuz they know when you get this emotional well-being you're going to end the cycle a family cycle a belief system something that has to do with family you're going to end it and a new beginning is going to start relationship wise or it could be a job or something that you love whatever this whatever it is you're deciding on you're going to do it and they want to keep you in unstable when when you know that you're leveling up people will come and do all kind of I, i'm having it in my life ever since my mom has passed away it's been some stuff going on that i never well i knew it was coming i just didn't know when it was coming it's coming it's all kind of foolishness and um but you're gonna put it to rest you're gonna put that stuff to rest because nobody nobody has the authority to take away what's meant for you but the illusion is there people have the illusion that they can take it away they don't have it they don't have it so whatever it is that you're deciding on you're going to get it but just understand that there are people around that don't want you to have it oh the victory card just popped over you're going to have victory over that situation okay so this hierophant situation it's a spiritual lesson somebody is learning i'm not taking these i didn't ask a question i just said the card they kind of bossy today i guess because i haven't used them in a while um the hierophant what spiritual lesson is somebody learning to take action go towards your passion 
somebody was uncertain in the past. Somebody um, allowed someone to keep them in doubt, keep them in their head. Widow spirit fell on the floor. Darn it. Yeah. When you take action, the divine will give you more spiritual gifts. And I, you know, I tell people this all the time. In this deck, this doesn't look like a man's wine, but it's spiritual power. You get both. Here's this lovers again. When you work on you, you get your person. You take action, you'll get the new gift from the divine, and you'll be able to work on whatever it is that you're trying to work on. Be careful, though. Somebody's trying to keep you in regret. What are you aspiring to do? What are you aspiring? Okay, somebody's working on getting grounded and getting pentacles or something on the earthly plane. And they're working on their emotions, too. They're, that's that's not as developed as that potential but you're going to manifest it inner knowing keep quiet about whatever it is you're working on because there are people there who, would, who don't want you to have it they want to control you this is and the sword is upright, so that's the truth. You need to work in silence. You need to work in silence. Why are you working in silence? The ancestors want you to. There's a hope that you can push through. This is five of wands, but you can push through whatever this lesson you're learning. Oh. And when you do that, you will have clarity. This is the Ace of Swords. The the Archan the uh, the ancestors um, want you to have hope that you will have that clarity, and you will be balanced. That's why they want you to be quiet. They want you to transform. They want you to be able to transform. They want you to be able to transform without being hindered, because there are people there that will hinder that, um, because they see this potential you have. They want to control your new spiritual beginning. That's what they want. They want look. That's that uh transform there but they want to control your creativity they they want to be able to say when you can do what you can do they want you to stay in this uncertainty energy because they're casting some type of judgment on you but like I said no one can cast judgment on you nobody go within and diffuse that energy when you go within you'll be able to work on it When you work, you're going to be growing as the uh, princess of pentacles. You're going to be working on creating things on the earthly plane that will bring you joy. You'll be working with the divine. And people know it. They know that you're transforming. They know this growth that you're having will allow you to transform. They know that you're manifesting, but they will try to manifest over your manifestation. This transformation is happening quickly, but so are these, those people. They're going fast. Because they know your will of your fate, your will of fortune is at stake. They know you're at the top, and they probably are at the bottom, and they want to knock you off of it, but they can't. Only you can knock yourself off of that. Can I have um? Hold on. What are you growing? 
you're growing your strength. What else? I'm not taking those. And this strength will give you emotional uh, content. You'll be em happy. You'll be within, you know, you won't be dissatisfied with your life. Because you'll be healed, healing. Whereas the light will be shown to others that you are healing. Can I have one for this um, speed? Can I have one for speed? When you make this transformation was quick and you take action quickly you will have a new pentacle a new gift from the divine and people know this they know this so you need to balance yourself out because it's common whatever it is these people are common this is a spiritual lesson that you need to know this is very important the high priest is here telling you to learn this lesson. Learn this lesson is very important that you do so. Um, can I have, I'm going to. Thanks for listening. I'm trying to jump out. All right. Can I have a message for the world? You will be ending a cycle. What cycle will you be ending? Or completing. You'll be completing a cycle. You'll be completing a cycle that will allow you to work on your creativity. And by doing so, it will bring you prosperity. Anything else? It will allow you to move forward in your life. And you will be in your you will be balanced. Well, your health, your whole energy will be in well-being. Your your life will be in order. You will have things in order. Your life will be in order. But you need to be aware of the energies around you. They want to control you. There are going to be individuals that want to control you. So, can I have clarification on this um, Prince of Cups? Your creativity. Make sure that you are learning this lesson and take action go within as the hermit go within and learn the spiritual lesson how you can truly be in your king of cups or guardian of hearts energy when you go within you need to go within and put things to rest that are not for you because trust me you're going to be satisfied but people are not going to be happy that you're satisfied they're going to come at you and try to dissuade you from whatever this is this emotional happiness that you're moving that you're that you've completed a cycle in and how are they going to move forward spirit You will be ending cycles of oppression. And that's the Ten of Wands. And it will give you a new spiritual beginning. And this is going to cause tower moments for a lot of people. They're not going to be happy. Oh, there was another card there. I'll take it. Oh, it's two. It's No, I'm not taking all of this. We won't take those. But it's the same. People trying to judge and keep you confused. Can I have another card? Thank you. 
thank you all right and this new beginning this new why you why you completing cycles and starting new spiritual cycles again you will be able to manifest your love true love or with something that you love something that you really want to be with want to do something you really just because you've transformed you've transformed you've completed you that will allow that you mean that you've completed that cycle and because you've completed that cycle you will be in order you will hit the bullseye for learning whatever lessons it was a lot of lessons in this now you have to do your inner i didn't talk about whatever the lesson might have been i'm just telling you that you need to heal you need to work on this spiritual um emotional um becoming emotionally heal yourself emotionally when you do that that will help you it's a lot of a lot of things occurred in your in your life that tampered with that. You have to go within and do that work to figure out who how you why you were damaged or why you feel emotionally unbalanced. Once you have the order, can I have a message on that? It's a lot of hidden things you'll be able to work with. This is um, high priestess energy. This is high priestess energy, but this is also if people are doing moon magic too. But you're going to be using your inner knowing, your intuition to get you in alignment. Empress energy because you are abundant. This will make you abundant. This will allow you to work three of wands. You're going to be taking um, action, moving forward with your goals and aspirations. You will be satisfied, but you need to make sure that you don't become too gluttonous, too greedy. You have to make sure. You're going to have to end some end some things. Some things are going to have to end so that you can uh, move on to the next cycle. What things are going to have to end? You're going to have to go. You're going to have to go use your intuition with that. But what things are going to have to end? What are you? What are you ending? What's what things are ending? Oh no, we are not doing that. <laughs> the whole deck tried to fall out. But the hangman was on top. So part of it is probably getting unstuck. unstuck. Um, when you end some things, you're going to have success. What else? But you need to take action quickly. It will give you the justice against the people who... Or situations that have occurred that has tampered with that but you will get the clarity if you do the work that you're supposed to do now I'm gonna ask uh, about this guardian of hearts the same cards that came up before you're gonna be you're gonna have a change and you're gonna have clarity once you heal get that when you complete that cycle and um, can I have a message on um, the six of wands, prosperity, the message that's coming up. They're, they're gain, they're, you already have it. The success is already yours. You're already going to be successful. The only way that you would not be successful is if you delay taking action. What's the uh, final, final word on this? You're going to have to get out of your head. There are going to be, like I said, there are going to be people around you that are going to cause conflict 
so that you can get, not be in the in the energy because they want to control you. They want to control you. You see how he holding both wines? Wait a minute. Anything else? Spirit. Get grounded. There is a rainbow there. That's your chakra system. Get in alignment. Uh, this is the king of pentacles. You're going to be able to create things. And some of y'all are going to be working with crystal balls and stuff. Be able to see into the future and do all that kind of stuff. It's going to cause a lot of satisfaction. Anything else? You need to go within. Diffuse that energy. Release these burdens, these mental burdens. Like I said, it's going to be people coming around you. Because they want your energy. They know that you are on the upswing. Anything else, spirit, before we shut this down? People are going to be upset because by you ending those, that, you know, that cycle of feeling backstabbed, they're going to, they're, they're feeling like they're losing and they don't want to lose. They want you to lose at any cost. That's what this card is. They want you to lose at any cost. So they're willing to do anything. And there's a queen. This is the queen of swords. So you need to get real clear on what you need to do because she slices heads off. Anything else, spirit? But you are the queen of wands. You are confident. You are innovative. You take action. You don't put up with no mess. Take action. Take action. You are the high priestess. You don't have to speak. You just do what you need to do. You control what happens to you. You don't let others control you. Her sword is up, so she's in her truth. And by being in your truth, you will have satisfaction, emotional abundance. When you get this, when you get this abundance, this emotional abundance, you're, you clear that up in your inner child. This is what the divine will give you. A new cup. A new cup. So balance yourself out. Nurture yourself. Go out in nature. Do things you love. Because you are the empress. You're working with spirit. And you're healing. You're healing after being in sorrow, after being heartbroken. Go within, do the healing work that you need to do. Gain that clarity, that energy, and be in your truth. Alrighty, this is it. Yeah, I, I probably will be doing another reading, but yeah, that was a lot. That was a whole lot. All right. Um, I'm hoping that somebody gets this message and that it, it, it gives them what they need. And again, I want to send a heartfelt, heartfelt, heartfelt. Sending condolences to Spiritual Sag about the passing of her son. Sending you white light of protection over your whole household. All right. You all take care, deuces. Thanks for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z, and I'll see you soon.